another video and in this video I am going to swatch um, the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks that I own. Um, I own 16 of them so I will swatch the ones that I own. Um, I think I had I got um, probably one, two, one, two, three, four, probably five at the my actual Walgreens that I went into the store physically and purchased and then the rest I got at drugstore.com. So I know they don't sell them all um, in the drugstore because I was looking online um, at my uh, walgreens.com and they were saying like not sold in stores. So I know some of these you yeah, you have to get online. Um, which is kind of a bummer though. Like I think that's kind of annoying. Don't you think? I don't know. I think that's kind of annoying. I really love this brand of lipstick and for $2. Two, I think they're two. Um, I know sometimes you can get them for like a dollar or something when your Walgreens has a sale. I know for the ones that I bought like in store, um, I got them for like a dollar thirty nine because my Walgreens had them on sale. Um, but for the ones that I got on drugstore.com, I believe they were two twenty nine. So again, that's like such a deal for um, for this lipstick because these are really great formulas. Um, they stay for a while and. The color payoff is really good. So I'm going to go right into swatching um, and I'll probably talk about the color um, a little bit probably as I'm going. So let's get into the swatching. The first color um, that I'm going to swatch is called Bear It All. This is a really popular color. Um, right, I feel like all on social media, I feel like um, a lot of people talk about it. It's a nude, it's a nice nude color. Um, it is right there. The next color is called Just Peachy, and this is a nude color as well, but it does have a peach undertone. Put it right next to Bear It All. As you can tell, next to Bear It All, it has a nice peach undertone. So I think this one will be really pretty in the summertime, especially when you have a tan um, and you want just like an extra pop of peach or orange. It does have a lot of orange um, undertone to it. I think it kind of makes my teeth yellow though. And that I don't like. That I don't like. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is called Think Pink. And again, this is a nude, but this one is going to have pink undertones with it. This is Think Pink. Um, and as you can see, they're bare at all, just peachy, think pink. So really bright pink. Um, again, I feel like this would be really good in the summer. Um, I don't really like bright pink lipstick. I don't know. I need to get a little bit more comfortable with it. Again, I think this will be good in the spring. Um, I think that'd be really pretty. So I think this will be a good alternative if you don't really like the orange tone um, or if you don't like pink, then go with the just peachy um, and you get the more orange tone. So this is just, or this is, this is think pink. The next one I have is a dark nude and it is called Sandstorm. It is a very dark brown nude. As you can see, is that one right there? A lot darker than Bear at All. So this is kind of like an orange, kind of like a brown kind of, oh, I really like this. This is kind of like a, like a rusty kind of red color. Um, really kind of like on trend right now. I know a lot of people are into those brown uh, lip colors. Um, I actually really like this color. I think it's really pretty. Um, and that is um, Sandstorm. Next I have a darker brown color oh, and this one is called Mocha Alicious. And this one definitely has more of a purple undertone compared to um, Sandstorm. So here's Sandstorm and here is Mocha Alicious. This is a nice dark brown and I really like it. I feel more, I feel like sophisticated in this brown. The next one 
is spiked with rum. And this is a, let's see what it is. I don't really know. Okay, so this is a more red based, um, dark browner color. So you can see compared to those. Um, so this is like a kind of browner kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a red, honestly, kind of like a dark maroon kind of red color. I don't know, not really my favorite, but I feel like maybe if you're too nervous to do a real hardcore brown, um, this could be a great alternative for you. So this is Spiked with Rum. The next one is In the Flesh, and I'm assuming this is a nude. For some reason I thought this was dark. I guess maybe it's not. Um, oh no. Ooh, this is pretty light. Okay, so it is this one right here. Ooh. And it is pretty light. So this is kind of like a, a nude kind of pinky color. I don't know. I'm kind of like an amplified version of my lips. That's why I feel like this is... Mm, this is in the flesh. Next we have Smoking Hot Pink. And this is kind of like a blue-based pink. It is right there. So this is definitely like a hotter pink. Um, I think, again, this would be really pretty if I had a tan. Color is oh Rosebud. And this is kind of a light um, orangey kind of pink. So this is Rosebud. And it's kind of like in the flesh, but just probably a little bit more pinky. Next I have Coral, no, Carrot Gold. Sorry, carrot gold, and this is like orange. <laughs> yeah, this is orange. Really bright orange. This is orange. If you want orange lipstick, this is it. Orange. This is carrot gold. Next, we have Coraline. And this is a coral color, I'm assuming. Yes. So. Compared to obviously carrot gold, it is redder, so it's going to be a nice coral color. So this is more of like a bright red, I would say, than a coral, but this is Coraline. Coraline. Next we have Red Velvet. And this is a blue-based red. It's still kind of bright, so it's still kind of a bright red. This is red velvet. It's picking up really bright. The next one is called Spotlight Red. And this one is a nice brighter red. Um, and it is a little bit more orange based. So this is Spotlight Red. Next color is Sugar Plum Fairy. And it is a dark purple. And it looks like this. I lied. I found two more in my purse. I knew I was missing them. And I knew because I wore mauve about mauve over a lipstick and I knew I had a dark one and anyways yes I lied and I have two more <laughs> so instead of 16 I have what how many did I say I have? I have 18 I don't know anyways so this is mauve out of here sorry and this is a mauve pinky color lately I've been um really liking this atop of Lolita and um like a really taupey color just to add a little bit of purple because alone this is really purple for me um just for everyday wear um it's just really purpley for me so but this is mauve out of here next one is a red color and it is a dark red and it is called cherry bomb and this one is really popular as well. A lot of people say this is a dupe for um, Diva by MAC. Uh, the top 
this is this is Cherry Bomb and this is Diva. Cherry Bomb is a little bit darker and Diva is a little bit lighter. Um, Cherry Bomb has a little bit of a um, bluer based and I think Diva has a little bit of a redder based but like I said these two are very similar so if you don't want to splurge and get um, Diva from MAC Cherry Bomb is a great alternative. The next two are dark this one is called Raven Raisin which is very popular um, I guess in the world um, it is this one right here and it is purple very dark purple this is a really pretty dark purple like, oh my god, I love this color. Not too dark, where it's like, whoa, girl. Like, the next color I'm going to show you right now. Um, but really pretty. Oh my god, this is Raven Raisin. And it is called Vamp It Up. And it is a very cool, cool purple. And it is that one right there. As you can see, the Raven Raisin has um pink it's like a pinky purple but this one is a very cool blue purple so let's vamp it up okay and that ends all the lip swatches okay so in total i had 18 i know in the beginning of this video i said 16 i have 18 because i found two more in my purse um yeah so those are the swatches for my wet and wild collection um yeah, I definitely suggest going and trying these lipsticks, especially since they are so cheap. Um, I really like them and the color payoff. I mean, look at this lipstick. Like, whoa, girl. Like, they are, they're pigmented. So I hope this was helpful when choosing the lipsticks that you want. Um, like I said, though, in the beginning of the video, majority of these I had to order online. I don't know what your, I mean, I live um, in a town where, like, um, there's not a lot of, large selection at my stores so I mean if you go there you might have a bigger selection so I had to order mine online but anyways so drugstore.com is awesome you can get so many things from there so that's how I ordered those um yeah so I hope this was helpful definitely check these out I think these are a great drugstore lipstick so thank you guys so much for watching bye